The thing that I had to remember, and it is remembering, is that we are the soil. We literally are the soil. Every cell in our body is formed by what we put into our mouths and what comes from the soil. And I think that that shared connection, we've forgotten. And this film does such a beautiful job of weaving together that fabric that we are. And as someone who grew up not knowing about how land was stolen from black farmers and not understanding the grave injustice that had happened, there was so much shame and grief around that when I first learned it. And I recognize that we've all played a role, whether it's been active or passive, we have all played a role. And that's the invitation of the film, is that we can all play a role again together. And as we do, I mean, the wisdom and the shared connection and the love that is this movement, it's why I've been at it for as long as I have. I mean, you guys in Boulder know, I mean, I, I have been at this for a very long time. My book, The Unhealthy Truth, came out in 2009, talking about all that stuff you just saw in there. My TED Talk, talking about all that stuff we just saw in there. The efforts to silence that have been tremendous. There are efforts, there will continue to be efforts to silence this film. I promise you, these guys will not go down easily. So it is on all of us to be braver than we ever thought we could be. And always my North Star has been my children, these four kids that are now off and away and gone. But we have got to be braver than we ever thought we could be. Because right now we're sort of in this safe zone with the premieres of these films and it's all the people that love it and it's all the choir and we're all together and it feels really, really, really good. I promise you, inside those boardrooms right now, they are planning everything to try to discredit and take this thing down. And I also promise you that every single person in that film, every single one of them I have known for the last 15 years. Chuck Dunbrook, that scientist that was silenced, John, Jonathan Lundgren, same thing. I know those guys. And they are braver than brave to be speaking out on these things. And so what they need for all of us to be their foot soldiers. We are the foot soldiers. We're the foot soldiers for the farmers and the farming families too. And the part that makes me cry every single time, and I don't know how many times I've seen this movie, there are a lot of parts that make me cry, but the part that like really makes me cry where I kind of have to, like, I can't stop, is the debt levels and the farmer suicides. Yeah. We are talking about a national security issue. It feels really good, it's beautiful here in Boulder, we get the beauty of this thing. This is actually a national security issue. And so if you've got Republican family members, if you've got family members that you kind of don't talk about these things with, this is the movie. This is the movie. We have Republicans in Texas, we have Republicans around the country who are really ready to step towards this, and they have needed a vehicle like this. So that's my ask to all of you, is just to be as brave as you possibly can. I don't know where this courage has come from in this work for me. I mean, it is so heart-centered, it comes straight. It's just such a love thing. This is a love story. That movie is a love story. So just think of it that way. That's the source. It's not fear, it's love that's motivating all of this. Just got the chills. Such a love story. Anyway, so now I'm very, very, very honored to introduce, and I'm so grateful you said yes when I said, we come to Boulder, um, <laughs> my very dear friend, Rick Clark. Both of you, that was awesome. Um, the, you know what I really love about the movie is the fact that it, it kind of explains what the problems are, but then it also has the solutions. Because too many times people just pound their fist on the table, you on the table, you have to change. Okay, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know, but you have to change. Well, this movie shows you that. And I can't say what they said any better, so I'm not even going to try, but the things that um, we have to remember is, you know, uh, I've often said the people, uh, the people who are creating change are the ones who are being talked about, and that's exactly what's happening. So uh, the change is upon us. Uh, this is not going to fizzle out. This is a movement that is only gaining momentum. Um, 
you know, and, and it's not like we're, we're trying to put people out of business. I mean, change the way you do things and, and come on board and become part of the, the solution, not part of the problem. So um, we have to think about the future generations here. Uh, and I, I know the older you get, you tend to think, I mean, I've got grandchildren now. You absolutely love your children. But the grandchildren is a whole nother level of, of, if you have grandchildren, you know what I'm talking about. And that's kind of where, you know, I am in this. And, and I've, I've, you know, Carol and I have talked about this a lot uh, over the years. And um, we finally had that opportunity to just go all the way and eliminate everything. And, um, you know, when you put down on paper now where we are, this is even since that movie was filmed, I think right now our annual savings are about $2.7 million wow. a year. So, uh, and the other good, you know, and everybody wants to say, well, that's great, but, but are you profitable? Well, I think by 2025, which is just a year and a half away, I don't think we're gonna to need to have any, any borrowed money to, to run the farm. So, uh, People say that, that you can't do this. Well, I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. You can do this. Uh, you just figure out the context that you need to be in and the, the, the size makes no difference here. You saw it in the movie. The, 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 the lady with the gardens in your front yards, the, the Soul Fire Farm lady. And she was very eloquent to say that it's not just Soul Fire Farms, there's thousands of farms like them. So, Get out there and, and get it done. That's all that's all I can say. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amazing.